guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it has taken me forever to get this video sorted but here it is this is how i do my makeup as a blind girl i've already washed my face put on moisturizer and used um this um primer from the body shop i do believe so we're all sort of prepped um this is probably going to be quite quick and probably not very interesting but you know, I thought it was good to good to let you guys know as I did say I would do one. Not that anybody's pulled me up on it, but you know. Um, this is my very old, definitely needs to be replaced um, foundation. It is one of the lightest, if not the lightest shade. I don't know where it is from. Uh, any of the ones that I do know where they're from, I will um, let you know. I'm avoiding around my piercing. Um, just because it is still pretty young um it is i think a month now since i got it done mm. but i still want to be pretty careful and not damage the healing process this is going to be the makeup that i do like very casual makeup but i thought you know people have asked in real life about me doing my own makeup no one's really asked online but then i don't really wear makeup online all that much um but it does tend to surprise people when i say in real life that i do do my own makeup um so yeah i always get a side to person to check before i leave the house and i don't wear makeup very often which i think is kind of the secret to how my skin tends to be pretty good not all the time i have a lot of hormonal situations but yeah i think that is and i also drink a lot of water um so yeah the secret i've always found with foundation is just to blend it blend it blend it um as much as humanly possible like you can definitely tell by the touch where more or less is i've definitely just gotten that on my piercing so call me a hypocrite no not a hypocrite wow whatever the word is a failure <laughs> so that is at this point i'm gonna say the foundation is probably blended enough where did i put my wipe you guys where did i put that wipe Blame you, you distracted me. I don't know where I put my wipe. Oh, it's there. I'm so blind. I'm so blind. But yeah, in theory, don't get makeup on new piercings. This one isn't that new, I suppose. Um, so that's where we're at with the foundation. I don't know how good you guys can really see because of the um the lighting, but I I can't really see my own makeup anyway, so I'm not really the best person to say. Um, you might be wondering why I bother with makeup if I can't really even see the effects. Um, at this point I'm going to curl my lashes real quick. I always find that curling them before I put on mascara really, really helps. Um, so I line it up and then try not to clip my eyelid. I got something that looks too tight there. And I just feel with my finger... Like, I can tell that there's some that aren't quite in. There we go. And I just feel to hold, or at least. Um, I always try not to curl them, like, too much before I put my mascara on, because then it tends to get on the upper eyelid. So doing it a little bit before. And then being able to, like, not have it go on your eyelid is ideal for me. I find that this works for me um it might not work for everybody um and then i use this um concealer from the body shop i really really like the body shop's makeup it's pricey but it's good um and they have colors that really match my skin well um so it tends to be that they don't need as much blending as some other products might. So I'm gonna take this, just the fondant around like that. 
I don't tend to try and conceal spots as it just doesn't work for me. I just cannot really do that. Um, but my under eyes, I've, I used to be really, really insecure about my under eyes, but we adapt, evolve and grow. So not so much anymore. Um, but I tend to just put it underneath the eye. I know it's kind of a thing or it was a thing to do a triangle. Um, but I tend to put it just under the eye. I tend to move up though in the inner part just to get it up with the eye and then I pull it into a triangle type shape if that makes a whole lot of sense. And I tend to rub from the in out and then back in and then down and then out if that makes sense. Um, and I also try and get it as up close to the bottom of the um, lashes as possible just because otherwise it kind of looks like you or at least I've been told it looks like I have um, like a dot just a random dark circle under my eye um, so and that's kind of what we're trying to get rid of so that's how I would do that and I am all about the fingers all about the fingers always I can tell what I'm doing better <laughs> um so all about the fingers again i don't know how well you guys can see the before and afters of what i'm doing um i think the main difficult part is always going to be mascara um especially doing it with the left hand i also am very aware i have my back a bit yeah um that this is not ideal lighting, this is not ideal anything, but I can't do it in my bathroom because there's nowhere to put you guys. And the lighting in my room is never going to be great. So this is a relatively new mascara. So it should just be coming through. And that's the dog's corner hair. So that is where we're at. I then try not to blink too much. Um, though this is and should be waterproof, so it shouldn't matter too much. Um, but then, yeah, try not to blink too much is really important, I find. Can we go in with the left hand? Um, I know you guys cannot really see this very well. And I don't have a mirror here, by the way. I cannot see you with a mirror, so. I'm literally just winging it. Practice makes perfect and all that. With the um, left eye, it's even worse because I can't, I can see even less out of my left eye, so I can't see where I, I'm really going. So I try and like blink to try and feel it with my lashes, if that makes sense. This is not going well. I'm so worried about picking myself again, I blink. And I have a hole in my eye at the minute, so that would not be ideal. There we go. I'm much, much better with the other hand than the other eye. I'm also really, really cautious about getting it on my nose. I know it doesn't matter that much because I can get it checked by a sighty. But it does really, really bother me. I would much rather, rather just have perfect makeup than have to have someone remove all these bits. I'm going to do another coat on the other eye, I think. I think I'm getting much more on this one. And that would be it. Smudged. You can very much tell when it smudges. So I will get a side to person. I'm pretty sure I know. I will probably get a side to person to check that before I leave the house. Um, yeah, but I'm going to do another coat as well on this eye. Yeah, this eye is so much easier to do. So, there we go, that'll do. Um, also, knocking the, the pot of mascara over is one of my, like, the banes of my existence. I do it so often. 
I haven't made any massive great big splotches on any counters as of yet. It is definitely like the bane of my existence. Um, I'm just going to use them a second and then I will curl. I also um, usually will put on a lip balm at this stage. So I'm going to grab some of that. Moisturize my lips. I usually do it before, actually, to be fair, before this point. But I forgot. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot. So, here we go. Oh, my lashes again. There we go, my eyebrows. So that's. I'm probably gonna move you guys. Hold on. Let me try and show you with window lighting. I don't know how well you guys can see. Um, so that's what we're at with the mascara, and I will get a side person to correct. I think this eye is significantly better than the other one. But that's where we're at. Um, again, I don't know how well you guys can see, but uh, here's where we're at. And then I tend to use either lip glosses or lip stains, um, just because there tends to be less room for error. I'll probably use a lip stain. Yeah, I'll use a lip stain. Wipe off a lip balm. This is a body shop lip stain. Again, I just want to let makeup do the rest. Now, my lips are just going to work right around where the bottom of my lips are. Again, always get a side to person to check. But this tends to mean that it ends up being cleaner, rough. Um, like lip, lip pencil and things like that just is not an option. I used to be pretty good at eye pencil though when I was younger, but I haven't done it in years. So, yeah, even though I was like seven, got into makeup really, really young, um, which is actually quite a good thing, or ended up being quite a good thing for me. <laughs> Because it meant I got practicing before the time that I actually need, well, not needed, wanted to be wearing makeup. I'm not going to do eyeshadow today, but if I was, um, I tend to use, like, oh, my other eyeshadow isn't in here. But I tend to use things like this, not necessarily this, but things like this, where they're smaller, um, smaller palettes or like ones in a line so it's easy to remember where things are i cannot get this open so it's always easy to remember where they are where each color is in the palette rather than like let me get one of those i'm getting rid of Rather than like something like this, where there's like a million shades, um, and they're all, you know, can be quite similar, and I, you know, don't really know what all of them are because I'm colorblind. So rather than something like that, I would use something smaller like this. But I'm not gonna bother with eyeshadow today. Um, I just wanted to show you like how I would do the main parts of like a makeup. If I had my smaller eyeshadow thing in here, I would do eyeshadow today, but I don't know where it is. And I should have probably thought about that before I did the rest of my makeup. But yeah, this would be like very like natural, but it showed you like how I do like the blending and how I do mascara and things. It's basically just all through trial and error and practice and always check getting a side person to check. Um, so yeah, very, very basic. I've always kept a very, very basic makeup. 
um when i was younger like i had more sight and i did more makeup more often so i would use like that smoky eye palette and would attempt smoky eyes um so yeah it more um advanced as possible and i do occasionally use like a blush um but things like contour i just have not i have not been doing the um there's something i really 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 want to try but i just haven't been able to find a shade which is really really close to my shade which is like you know the best thing to use i know with things like contour you want it to be like the shadow of your face rather than obviously the shade of your face but the closer a color is to my face the easier it's going to be to blend and if it's not quite blended right the easier that is to fix so that tends to be my theory with makeup and things but that's very quickly you know showing you how i would apply my makeup completely without a mirror um i will always 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 get a sighted person to check like i say always 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 um i hope that lighting might be a little bit a little bit better for you um but that's very very simple with eyeshadow i would just take a bit on my finger and just run it along from the inner corner out i tend to go just so i can follow the like outline of my eyes because yet again can't really see where i'm actually placing it and that way i also can you know be able to feel where there's more powder versus less powder if that makes sense so yeah thanks for watching and that's very quickly and very simply how i would do very natural makeup as a blind person so yeah